Well, tragedy in Denver last night as a young newlywed bull rider had his life cut short. Yeah, many across the PBR circuit in mourning tonight and some of them drawing similarities to another beloved bull rider, Lane Frost, who was killed doing what he loved back in 1989. Sports director Scott Breen joins us now with more on how a widespread but tight knit community is holding up. Scott. Yeah, gang, just a horrible tragedy in a sport that hits close to home for a lot of us here in Montana on a tour that actually comes to Billings this April. Bull rider Mason Lowe was competing on the PBR's Velocity Tour last night in Denver. We're not going to show you the ride, but here's a look at him within the last year. Last night when he was bucked off, the bull stomped on his chest. Witnesses say Lowe got up, took a couple of steps, and then collapsed. He was rushed to a Denver hospital where he died shortly after. Montana's Flint Russ Rasmussen, who you see there, spent well, about half his life as a barrel man between rodeo and the PBR. He sees cowboys injured a lot of different ways, but bull riding deaths are very rare. Yeah, for me, I mean, you know, the most famous one is Lane Frost. And with the advancements in what the guys wear now, Lane Frost probably wouldn't have broken a rib with what the vests they wear now. And this past summer, Chase Outlaw, had a really bad injury in Cheyenne and broke every bone in his face and lucked out, frankly. And now here he is. He's the number two bull rider in the world wearing a, a real high technology helmet. I'm positive without a shadow of a doubt that when Cody Lambert stepped up after his good friend Lane Frost died and took a vest that because his family was in the racehorse business and put on a vest, modified it, and it became what every bull rider wears it has saved, I can't imagine the lives it saved. So I think we're in a, maybe it's a lucky era, but maybe it's technology too. And the helmets they're wearing, I can't help but think that has contributed to the fact that this just doesn't happen. According to the PBR, this is the third death while riding on tour in its 23 year history. As of a couple hours ago, they'd already raised over $80,000 to help Lowe's family. We've shared a link in our story at montanasports.com. Just a few minutes from now, Flint shares one of his favorite Mason Lowe memories with us. All right. Thanks so much, Scott.